Hello and good afternoon from your co-op community stadium. I'm Sean Cashmore. I'm joined today by last season Leamington goalkeeper, former Burton Albion man Callum Hawkins. And you join us for the second home game of the campaign in the Southern Premier League Central. It's Leamington versus Mickelover. Three games in and the breaks opened with a win, followed that with a defeat and then played out an entertaining but goalless draw away at Hales Owen Town on Tuesday night. As I said, the game ended goalless with one major source of disappointment for Leamington as energetic fullback Meredith pulled up with a hamstring injury after 20 minutes and is expected to be out for the next couple of weeks. Today's opponents are the early season table toppers. Three wins from three and ten goals scored. They put four past Berkhamsted last weekend and followed that up with another four on Tuesday at home to Alvechurch. These two sides have met before, but only twice. Both times Leamington have faced defeat and both times the fixtures have been in the cup. Mikelova will be looking to continue that record here today in the first league meeting between these two. Leamington will be looking for not only their first win against today's opposition, but their first goal. Tyrone Barnett, of course, plenty of experience for him. He played National League last season for Hereford, but of course he's had a wealth of English Football League experience with the likes of Peterborough, Wimbledon and Port Vale. There's Mikelova make tracks down the left-hand side once more with Dales. Dales onto his right foot, just slips one into the challenge channel for right to take on. Right onto his left foot, back onto his right foot, stood up by Clark. He goes back out to Dales. Dales has got English for company over there. Dales back to right again, and the two of them just try and exchange passes, but they give it away to Landers. Landers can't escape. It's back into the feet of Wright. Wright just has his heels clicked by Clark, but still we play on. Referee playing plenty of advantages in the opening stages. Dales beats his man on the left-hand side, gets the left footed cross in. It's through everyone. Quayner lets it run, and it will come out to Bennett on this right-hand side. Bennett gets the cross back in, in towards Wright, and it's just headed over. Well, it was a really good ball on this right-hand side from Bennett. Quayner let it run all the way through the area out to him the brakes didn't close that cross down early enough and Andre Wright the former West Brom Academy player just arrived on cue and couldn't get his header on target yeah they've had a bit a bit of quality getting to the box it's just that final touch they haven't found yet Jake Bennett's put in a good couple of balls Andy Dale's on the other side crossed a few in and it's causing problems but they've not really challenged Callum in goal yet ball over the top he's in here is Andre Wright and he's chipped the keeper and it's wide well it was a really good ball over the top into the feet of Marcus Barnes everyone appealed for offside he was the wrong side of the Leamington back line and as Marcus Barnes went scampering through with five goals to his name already this season Marcus Barnes you'd expect him to convert he tried to chip it over Smith and it was just wide yeah that's what the two Leamington defenders have got to really work on because he's curved his run really well there he's stayed on side but Callum's made it difficult for him and he's made it pretty wide. Leamington pick up the loose ball over on that right hand side. English in towards Landers. Landers just feeds it towards Kelly Evans. Kelly Evans in towards Adam Walker inside the 18 yard box. Cannons around. Walker stabs it towards the far post. Good save by keeper Bosworth. It's going to go out for a corner. He wasn't sure if it was a cross or a shot, but he had to make sure, did Bosworth, and he just tipped it away, away from Callum Stewart, who was lurking at the far post. So it'll be Callum Stewart looking to try and get off the back of Tyrone Barnett. You can imagine again from this long kick upfield. Smith then right footed, takes the free kick. There it goes, up towards Barnett. Barnett's just chested it down in towards Stewart. Barnett again! Just over the bar. Fantastic play between Barnett and Stewart. Barnett headed it down. Stewart laid it off to him. And Barnett sent a thunderous half volley, just half a foot over the crossbar of Bosworth. Yeah, that would were, that were have been a difficult one for them to deal with. The direct play, it's working, the two centre-halves don't know what to deal with. And it's, it's creating chances, it's making it difficult for them and taking them out of their comfort zone like they've done to teams for the start of this season. Thunderous volley from Tyrone Barnett just over the crossbar as he seeks his first league goal for the breaks so far this season. Kelly Evans over the top into the channel for Stewart to chase. Stewart doesn't give up on it as always and then manages to win the loose ball and has a couple of pulls at him, does the defender on that side, but Stewart escapes. Invites Quainer forward, who's forward from left back. Quainer seems to be pulled down, but nothing doing. And Quainer gets back to his feet and wins it and then has a strike on goal from all of 25 yards, but it's blocked. Quainer will collect the loose ball again. Chips it in towards the captain, Walker. Walker looks for the overlap. Quainer will get there. Quainer in towards the 18-yard box, falls down towards Landers. Landers tried to 
to just offload to Stewart, but it falls down and comes out towards Clark. Clark in towards Kelly Evans. Kelly Evans sees Barnett in space inside the box. Back to Kelly Evans once more. Chips it towards the far post. It's going to force towards Stewart. Off the line. Mikelova try and clear it away and do so. Wow, what a scramble. Mikelova just oh, needs to clear their lines, but they tried to dribble across their own line. And then it was cleared away finally by Jake Bennett, I think. And they tried their very best to make a mess of it, but they've just managed to escape. Yeah, that were a lucky one. I'd, I don't know why he's trying to dribble on his own goal line there, but they've managed to clear it somehow. As the cross came in, it was all the way through and just fired in on goal. and wasn't really hit at any pace, but it seems to be like chested down on the line. And it looked like one of those ones where you just swing your foot at it and clear it. And they started just trying to dribble across their own line. But a strange series of events, but they escape nonetheless. Lane sends it forward once more as he collects it at the back for the breaks. Bit of head tennis in the midfield. Walker just looks to step into the challenge, but Greaves glides away from him, turns on the afterburners, in towards Atkinson. Atkinson, space on the left-hand side now for Dales. Mikkel over, come forward. Dales backs up Junior English. Dales has a go towards the far post. That's over the crossbar of Callum Smith. Dales just giving a little bit too much space, though, just to cut back onto his right foot and send one goalwards. Yeah, he's always wanting to get on his right foot. He needs to try and get him to force him out wide because he doesn't want to cross it on his left every single time he's got the ball he's trying to get into inside get a shot off but he doesn't want to go down the line get a cross on his left Smith then sends this one long up in towards the Michelover penalty area headed down by Landers it will fall down to the head of Walker. Walker just has it taken off him by Salt and Michelover clear their line Edwards has lost it towards Bevan Bevan tries to lob Smith well Bevan was free, Edwards misjudged his header, and as Bevan saw Callum Smith off his line, he tried to lob him, similar to what Barnes tried to do in the first half. This one was a lot closer, but it was over the top and onto the roof of the net by Stuart Bevan. Yeah, that's what Stuart Bevan can do. He's, he's always on the last man, he's waiting for the ball in behind, it always takes his one mistake, and even though he's reaching, he's nearly got that one in. Infield, it comes towards Atkinson. Atkinson and Kelly Evans do battle, but it's Atkinson who wins that battle, and then Bennett comes forward over on the right-hand side. Great challenge back on him by Joe Clark. Into the feet of Kelly Evans. Kelly Evans bundled over by Bennett. Bennett escapes then he, uh, from the referee. In towards Bevan. Bevan strikes. Good save. Out towards Dales. Dales strikes it towards the top corner. Off the crossbar. Well, another great strike by Dales. He's getting closer and closer. This one onto the crossbar of the Leamington goal. And Callum Smith was at full stretch. He wasn't getting there. And Leamington escape again. There's a few inquests towards the referee. They wanted a foul on Kelly Evans, but he played on with the referee, Callum Jones. And as it was sent through towards Bevan, Bevan couldn't quite get it out of his feet. Dales did, and he struck it off the bar. I think we need to react better, especially, especially when it breaks down like that in midfield. We need to get tighter onto the man. Can't let him shoot from there, especially somebody like Bevan. It's made it difficult for Callum to actually get a good good connection onto it and then the rebound, he's luckily at the bar. The corner's taken quickly and it's taken short. Greaves marked by two, so goes back out to Wilson. Wilson works it towards the edge of the box where none has it on his left foot. None glides it in, then swings across towards the far post, headed down by Mikolova, collected at the right by the number five of Delap. Delap swings it in towards the far post again, and Bevan's there! Bevan touches it in! It's a mixture of Bevan and Greaves. Bevan peels away to the away supporters and takes the plaudits. And Mikolova have opened their account in the final five minutes here. It was a long ball in towards the far post by Delap. It was just hoisted in towards the far post area. Bevan seemed to be unmarked, and he just touched it down as it beat Smith. It seemed to be touched over the line by Greaves if it wasn't there already. But Michelover Sports don't care either which way. They've made it one goal to the good. It's Levington nil, Michelover one. Yeah, that's that's what we've been talking about. Bevan's in there at the back post. He's floated off the men and he's, he's just finally got the touch in. It's a great ball across. He's floated in, but we've switched off. We've let the man run free and then the first time they get a free touch, and it's a goal. Stuart Bevan, with all this Football League experience, had glided away from all the markers inside the Leamington box. It's 1-0 in the closing stages of this game. Smith, goal kick, Ford, high, still we play. 
English. Can he win it in the air? Yes, he can. In towards Stewart. Stewart needs to get it forward. He uses Quainer. Quainer chips one in towards the far post. Dealt with by Wilson. Collected by Baldwin. Into the feet of Landers on the right-hand side. Landers swings across in. Headed away by Mikelova. Landers collects again. Chests it down to Mikelova. Win the eighth minute of stoppage time. Landers swings one in. Great block by Wilson. And that'll do it. Emmington threw caution to the wind in the closing stages, but Mikelova have managed to see this one out with a goal from Stuart Bevan. Stuart Bevan got on the end of a looped in cross towards the far post and put it home past the despairing glances of the Leamington goalkeeper, Callum Smith. Leamington have had chances in this game, but they couldn't put the ball into the back of the net and they draw a blank for the second game in the row. Mikelova make it four wins from four, 11 goals to their name. They've come out on top here at Yukart Community Stadium. Yeah, you've got to give Mikelova of credit today they've took their chance and the one clear-cut chance in the game and they've took it and that's just football at times Leamington for all their endeavour couldn't hit the back of the net this afternoon they certainly had chances themselves as well it's finished here Leamington nil Mickel over one Paul probably a hard uh, defeat to take there but your thoughts on today's game I thought um, thought was Good competitive game first half. Um, um, Mikel have a do what they do. They, they do it well. Um, play through the pitch and uh, you know difficult teams to play against. Uh, we thought we could probably cause some problems by getting things in early to the nine and playing off, and which probably worked first half. We've had two or three really good opportunities first half, um, and it was looked a really good even balanced game. Um, Sadly, second half, it um, we haven't just we haven't just got going at all, really. Um, all over the pitch, sadly, we've we've been way off it. Way off it. Um, it's too easy for Mikel over. They've you know, they've run out. Listen, they've run out comfortable and deserved winners in the end. Um, so, real disappointing day for us. Um, second half performance, definitely. So, um, we've come away from Tuesday night thinking that's better. That's more like it. Um, the first half was yeah. It was okay. It was probably where it needed to be, uh, but you're hoping we can kick on. But now, but, uh, but sadly now the uh, second half performance was um, was uh, uh, it's, it's really really disappointing. Yeah, really disappointing. We saw uh, Tyrone come off today, and Dan Meredith went down on Tuesday. What's the latest on both of them for injuries? Uh, both, yeah, both, yeah. So Dan's um, Dan's a hammer, so that's a, that's a tricky one. Um, Looks like it's a grade one, so that's a three-week one, maybe four. Uh, Tyrone was really tight with his groin, so um, again, probably don't know at the moment. Next 48 hours, whether it's a little pull or whether it's tightness, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, so we'll just have to assess them um, and try and, yeah, hopefully get people back and... Uh, um, I just might have to look at the squad really because we've we've certainly struggled with three games this week. That's a certainty, so. And um, yeah, just um, mm, just got to got to find a way to do better, do better than what we've done second half there. You just mentioned there we're struggling with the squad because it's been bringing in players or what's the thought? It, it, well, yeah, we need to assess one or two. Um, yeah, and uh, and like you say, I just think with a couple of things that's been going on this week, like so the three games in the week, as uh, yeah, I can see second half, I just. That was one of the reasons, and the main reason was we weren't good enough. And the main reasons that we were too stretched, we had no quality on the ball, too far apart, too easy for Mikel over. So, no, it's uh, you know that, that, that ain't good enough. So I'm, I'm not going to even even try and stand here and say it is because it's not. I'm not going to try. You know, football supporters aren't deaf; they, they can see it themselves. So, um, I, I don't. Think it's, it's not lack of effort by him, but just lack of just quality and. Um, and a lack of mental ability when you play terms like Mikel over you've got to be mentally strong and stay with it not with your first half but um, no nah, it's, uh, nah, it's a real tough one to tie that one